Good morning, everyone. This is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a teacher blogger who talks about teacher tips, teacher life, teacherpreneurs, and all sorts of things that might make your life a little bit easier, or at least a little bit enjoyable. I'm here today with another vlog. Today is Valentine's Day, so it is gonna be an interesting one. Um, it's also a little bit of a weird day. I have my normal third, fourth, and fifth grade in the morning, but in the afternoon, my kindergarten, first, and second grade is having jump rope for heart. So I will not be teaching them. I'll have them in the gym and we'll be doing other things. And then actually tomorrow, third, fourth, and fifth grade have jump rope for heart and K1 and 2 will have normal classes. And by then I'll probably be so exhausted that I won't want to do anything, but we'll see how that goes. Um, for today, I do have a couple things that I need to do. Um, I have got to put up my bulletin board because I've been uh, neglecting it for a very long time. And I also need to download the Kahoot app on all of the new iPads that I got. I got some iPads from a grant and it took forever to be able to use them because the district provided the iPads, but not the cases. And they wouldn't let me use the iPads until I had the cases. Today's the first day I'm going to use them. Crossing my fingers and it goes okay. We're going to do a kahoot about instruments of the orchestra with my fourth and fifth graders. I'm doing pretty good on time. I got here about 7.30, which is my normal time. I actually meant to leave early and it just didn't happen. Um, but I don't have to be here till 8.15, so I'm like early every day. I did, however, stop and get coffee, which is something I never ever do. I can't even think of the last time I did that. Christmas? My birthday? It was probably Christmas because I do have an obsession with peppermint mochas. But I'm celebrating because first of all my bronchitis is finally starting to go away and I'm feeling significantly better which is ironic because Monday and Tuesday I felt horrible. But yesterday and today I've started feeling better. The second reason I decided to treat myself with the coffee is because I'm celebrating. I as of this morning, I have now lost 10 pounds this year, which is only a month and a half, um, which is really exciting. I lost like five pounds last year and five pounds the year before. So I've already doubled that in not a lot of time, which is really exciting. And it's also like a nice pretty round number and it just makes it look so much nicer. And it actually, the weight I hit today was my goal for the end of February, which means I am like two weeks ahead. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna see if I can figure out these Kahoot things and drink my coffee and check my email because that's always the most important thing to do first thing in the morning because you never know what they're gonna spring on you. Okay, so I got Kahoot downloaded onto all of the iPads. Um, if you have any suggestions for using iPads or apps to use or anything, anything at all, please let me know. I even, like, I got a cart from Donor's Shoes to put the iPads in, but the district approved cases are so huge because they have this handle thing that they don't fit into them. So anything from storing them to passing them out to anything, because this is my first time using them, um, and I don't know very many apps or anything to use with them. So I am, a, well, okay, funny story. I was going to have a Valentine's Day bulletin board, um, and I had the kids, I don't even see them now, I had the kids fill out these little cards that said, like, I love music because, and I was gonna, like, do this whole thing, and today's Valentine's Day, and I still haven't gotten it up, so I figured, <laughs> probably wasn't the best idea. So I was like, oh, well, I'll go with Black History and I'll, you know, put some pictures of um, composers and different people. And I couldn't find what I wanted for free. So I was like, oh, well, I'll make one. And I started doing that and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much work. And then I found that David Rao from Make Moments Matter um, has a Black History Month bulletin board that was already ready. So I did that instead. It was like $5, but I was like, you know what? If I can just print it out and be happy with it, I'm good. Um, so they look like, so this is like the front page and it has a bunch of bios and like of different people. Um, like it's got Beyonce and Charlie Parker and Harry Belafonte and Michael Jackson and just like all sorts of different people. So, and I have these things that the kids filled out one day when I had a sub. It's from the Activate book series, um, and it's, like, I have a dream. So, it's talking about Martin Luther King Jr., and they had to fill in the missing letters. 
this kid did not get them all right. He missed one of them. And it should be self-correcting because if you get the letters wrong from the treble clef, then it doesn't spell a word. But apparently my kids are not good at spelling, so it didn't make as much of a difference as it really should have. I'm gonna fill out a paper for a request to be absent. I'm gonna double check that everything's ready for my lessons. And then I'm going to go put some stuff up on the bulletin board. It is now lunchtime. It's actually been a pretty good morning. I'm feeling pretty successful. Um, my third grade had a lot of fun. We came in, we sang the song um, Funga Alafia, which is really super fun, and they really enjoyed it. Then we went, reviewed our instrument families because that's what we've been working on, and we read the book um, I Know a Shy Fellow Who Swallowed a Cello, which is one of my favorite books ever. It's one of those very similar to like, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly, but it's all these different instruments. So we did this sheet where they have, these are all the instruments that are in the book and they had to sort them into the different categories. I totally forgot to label them when I printed these out and then I realized it. So I did fix that. Um, this will be up in my TPT shop soon. And on the back, if they had time, they drew a picture of their favorite instrument and answered the question. So they said, my favorite instrument is a... It is part of the blank family. It's my favorite because, and then they drew a picture. We learned this song, um, Rattlin' Bong, which is one of my favorites because we've been doing Irish music this week. And they actually really enjoyed that. My third grade this week is my worst singing class. They're not bad. They're just not quite as into singing. And there's not very many of them. There's like 15 or something. And usually half of them are out or late. And so it's just a little bit awkward. And I haven't figured out how to overcome that. They have been getting better. This week actually was much better. And today was much better than like the beginning of the week. But especially the beginning of the week, it's like pulling teeth to get them to do anything. Um, so we sang Rattlin' Bog. I played my ukulele with the little turtles. I think it was the first time that they had ever seen it. So they were like, what's that? And we got to talk about how it's a string instrument, even though it's not an orchestral instrument, it's still a string instrument because that's the strings. Um, and I played it and we sang the song and they really enjoyed it and were actually singing the chorus with me. And I was like, yes. And they chose to play the game Akabaka, which is something we learned last time. And they really enjoyed it. It's also a singing game and I played my uke along with that too. Um, my fourth and fifth grade both did the Kahoot. It went very well. They really enjoyed it. Um, there were minimal technical difficulties, which is always good. Um, and now I have data about the class. Then we did a drum circle. So I pulled out my percussion cart. This yellow has been has wood blocks because we were using that to play along with the song yesterday. And then um, some big drums over here. And I got like, I pull out the Chubanos pretty often, but I never pull out these. Um, so that was kind of nice. They got to see different ones. Drum circles are really fun for all those weird instruments like the Shepara and the Guiros and like they found the Vibra Slap and things like that. They're just super weird. Last time I did it, I had them sit in chairs. This time I didn't. What I did is I had them sit in a circle on the outside of the carpet. They picked an instrument and it sat one dot. So we do like some call and responses. Um, like I'll say jump on in and they play ta ta ta. And I say slide to the groove and they play ta ti ti ta ti ti. And a couple other things like that. So we do those. We do repeat after me. Sometimes I pull out the rhythm cards and do that. Sometimes like today I had them a couple times do. I was like, all right, if you have a big drum, you're gonna play this rhythm. And then we add new rhythms and then I let some of them improvise on top, which is really fun. And then we actually played a game in fifth grade. My fourth grade did not earn their game time. They should have, but they just could not stop talking. They were just like, I couldn't, they didn't earn their points because they were just running their mouth and being rude to each other, which is like a constant thing in that class. But my fifth grade got to play a game called Pass the Beat Around the Room. Um, which is really really fun. You pick a rhythm and each student plays one beat of the rhythm. So we just did ta ta t 
ta-ti-ti-ta. So it would go down the lines and I had them each play it on their instrument, which worked out really well because we were running out of time. And so I just had them, if they got out, they went and put their instrument up and came back to their seat. And then we'd skip over them the next time, um, which helped because then I got some of them up before we needed to. So went pretty well. Um, right now I have about 25 minutes. I need to eat my lunch. I'm eating plain Greek yogurt with some honey and cinnamon and then strawberries and some homemade granola. You can make granola really easily. It's just um, putting oats and anything else you want in it, like nuts or what a dried fruit. And you put some kind of oil on it. I just use butter and cook it at 350 in the oven. I like to do 15 minutes and then I'll stir it because the butter melts and then 15 more minutes and it's delicious and you can make it as sweet or not sweet as you want. Um, this is really great because I'm trying to eat less sugar. Um, so that's why I'm doing the plain yogurt, which definitely needs lots of stuff in it because plain yogurt pretty much tastes like sour cream. These salt and pepper cashews, they are so, so good. Like they are delicious. I just grabbed them because they were the cheapest option, but it was like, these are so good. They're really, really yummy. So really looking forward to that. And I just got one of my favorite apps for the classroom, downloaded and figured out. Um, it's called Splash Top and it is wonderful. Basically it turns your iPad or your, even your phone into your computer. So you can see, here's what's on my screen. This is the PowerPoint we've been doing. I've been leaving them questions to answer as soon as they walk in the door so that they come in and they're thinking. And here's my iPad screen. And it's the same thing. And you can run everything through it. Oh my goodness. I am so tired. I, it is the end of the day. We had kindergarten and first grade jump rope for heart. And so we had like stations and the gym and they were hula hooping and dancing and just all this stuff. And it just, any time. So we had kindergarten and first grade jump rope for heart. And any time we're like in the gym, I just get so worn out like it's just really stressful it's really loud there's a lot of stimuli you know and we have not the most well-behaved students so there's like children running around and like constantly got to be supervising so that nobody kills each other constantly pulling kids out and having them sit on the corner and just like ridiculous um and then i had my planning i got my bulletin board up you just saw it I got some grades in, I didn't get a ton of grades in. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save that. I'm gonna clean up a couple of things before I go and then I'm gonna head out of here. Um, I need to actually stop at Hobby Lobby because two of our teachers, well, okay, one of our teachers is pregnant and one just had a baby. So we're having like a baby shower for them tomorrow. So I needed something. Um, so I was going to make them some baby stuff and I need a couple of things from Hobby Lobby and I happen to have a gift card. So I'm gonna stop on there, go home. Okay. Okay guys, I didn't really get anything cleaned up except the iPads, but I had to exit out of all of the apps. So I'm just gonna go home and tomorrow we'll have a cleanup day. I'm gonna stop by Hobby Lobby to get some stuff to make some presents for a baby shower tomorrow. And I'm gonna go home and spend time with my husband. So have a wonderful week. Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you survived it. I did end up getting a cupcake and a cake pop. I don't want the classroom parties in the class that I help out in the afternoon. So I had some sugar. I'm really tired now. I'm going to head out. Have a great day.